An acid is a compound that donates a proton. A base is a compound that accepts a proton. In water solutions, the acid donates its proton to water. Let's look at that. Here's an acid reacting with water to form H3O plus and the conjugate base A minus. So an acid will form H3O plus in solution. In fact, one way you could test if you have an acid is measure the concentration of H3O plus because acids will protonate water, donate their protons to water to form H3O plus. So the presence of H3O plus is indicative of acid solution. We can write the K, the equilibrium constant expression for this reaction. Ka we'll call it because it refers to an acid dissociation. Ka is the products, H3O plus, A minus, over the reactants, HA. Water, of course, doesn't appear in the equilibrium constant expression because pure liquids and pure solids don't appear in equilibrium expressions. So this Ka has the special label, but it behaves like a normal equilibrium constant. In particular, if it's large, then the equilibrium lies towards the products. Uh, a lot of H3O plus is produced. A lot of the HA, a high percentage, dissociates for strong acids. For weak acids, a smaller percentage dissociates. And all else being equal, you'll have a smaller amount of H3O plus. Same situation can be looked at for the base. Here's a base reacting with water. And when a base reacts with, with water, it accepts a proton from the water. By accepting a proton, it forms OH minus in water solution. So the presence of OH minus is indicative of a base in water. Let's write the KB for this reaction. It's the equilibrium constant for this base dissociation reaction. And I see the base reacting with water, the products, BH plus, OH minus, over the reactants. Again, water, a pure liquid, doesn't appear in the expression. Again, the size of the K determines the strength of the base. A large K indicates that this base accepts protons from water in a high percentage and makes a high concentration of OH minus in solution. So we have Ka and Kb, acid and base dissociation constants. And we can look these up in tables. And those tables will tell us the relative strengths of acids and bases and allow us to predict the extent these reactions proceed, the extent to which you produce H3O plus and OH minus in solution. In solution, with water, H3O plus and OH minus are the products of ionization and dissociation, and they signal the presence of an acid or a base.